All right, this potential late heavy bombardment of the moon has allowed us to quite effectively actually date the age of the moon and learn a little bit about its history. Can we use that for any other planets? Yeah, so this is actually our main way of dating anything else in the solar system. I mean, we've got one potassium ion yes. measurement from Mars, and occasionally and we can look at meteorites, but anywhere else in the solar system we've That's not right. got any samples. We haven't lined any huge probes with mass spectrometers on them. That's right. So we're kind of, we can't actually measure the radioactive age of the rock. What we can do, though, is assume that the bombardment history of the moon was kind of like the bombardment history of everything else. So lots of impacts up to... And because the three and a half that's right. billion years after that, not very many, but still a few. So you can look at anywhere in the solar system and say, if it's covered in craters, it's probably more than 3.8 yeah, billion right. years old. If it's less, we can r roughly estimate the age by counting the rarer, rarer number of things. Okay. Now, this is a bit dangerous because probably there are going to be more meteorites in some parts of the solar system than the others. There might yep. be more near the asteroid belt. There might be a lot of comet impacts in the outer solar system. So it's really rubbery. Okay. But it's probably the best we can do at the moment. Until is, we land something on it. And bring samples back. That's right. Or large spectrometers. So look at Mercury. Which... Look, it always is shocking how close this looks to the moon, in my opinion. Yes. It's even got a few mare-like areas. <laughs> um, so by and large, it looks like this is all going to be very old. No one's got any data from it, but it's going to be you know, four billion years old, with maybe a few lava planes slightly younger, which given it's you know, roughly the same size as the moon and a bit bigger than the moon, but not drastically no, different. No, no, that's right. Um, it's all pretty old. So we can kind of say, all right, well, looks like the moon, lots of bombardment, close enough to at least to what we need to know at this point, probably around the same age as the moon. Yes. How about Venus? You see, Venus is very different, right? Venus... You, well, you can't see... even look at the surface. Yeah, that's right. It's this is all clouds. the atmosphere. That's right. Um, but it is possible to probe beneath the clouds. Yep. And what data we have came from uh, the Magellan spacecraft. Now, this was uh, in the mid-1990s. Uh, was a, uh, did a synthetic aperture radar, so it went into an orbit around and bounced its radar down to try and map through the cloud what the geometry was. And it's... Um, it doesn't give us a very high quality data. I had to map an entire planet using radar. This was a difficult <laughs> task back right. then. Uh, but it gives us some idea of what it looks like. So this is you know, Mar Venus unwrapped. That's right. It gives you enough to at least start to see this is very different from Mercury. Yep. Now, by and large, there don't seem to be very many yeah. craters at all. Now, a small meteorite wouldn't get through Venus's very thick atmosphere, so you're not going to get the small craters That's that right. burn up in the atmosphere. I mean, we know that small meteorites burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, and Venus's atmosphere is much thicker <laughs> That's than ours. That's right. But a big one, you know, the ones kilometres across should get through that. That's right. Like a hot knife through butter. And they would leave craters that are big enough for us to see with something like Magellan. Yep. And there are, there are some, but really not very many. Not dramatically different than even, you would say, the Earth. So it appears... In fact, even fewer than in the seas of a moon. Really? So, so what this is clearly then telling us is the age of the surface of Venus is younger, most likely, Yes, yeah, so most degree. of the surface of Venus is probably only 100 or 2 million years old. Something must have resurfaced it, recovered the, the entire thing. I mean, it could be, on Earth, you could think it's erosion, the weather that yep. washes away these things. But it's, it takes a lot of erosion to wash away something that's many kilometres across, like these big craters. And on Venus, actually, there's not much wind. That's right. So it's, it's actually calm, incredibly hot, so if you're a gas and so on, but <laughs> Everything else is bad, but the wind's fine. So they wouldn't expect to be much erosion, certainly not enough to get rid of these 100-kilometre-sized craters. And so it really seems that something must have happened um, and what could the something be? We don't really know. Uh, it's probably lava and volcanoes, as we'll come back to in a second. Okay. Now, the Earth, um, very few craters. Um, so, again, probably we know that we can measure the age yes. of the Earth, and most of the Earth's surface is not that old, and even the old bits are pretty heavily eroded. So that would explain why there are none here. So that, that it doesn't mean that they didn't happen in the past, it's just the Earth has now changed sufficiently that they're gone. Now, Mars is an interesting case, because Mars, like the Moon, seems to have two different sorts of areas. You mm -hmm. can see the sort of flat plains, mostly in the northern hemisphere, and the highlands. That's right. Now, this is a, a map taken by, by a orbiting spacecraft, which had a laser altimeter, MOLA, mm -hmm. Mars Orbiter Laser Altimeter, and it measured the height of everywhere. So red is higher and blue is shallower or closer yes. to the surface? and you can see the red area, which are the highlands, and the highlands are completely covered in craters. Mm. So that means they're very old, probably about that four billion years or so. 
They've also, as we'll talk about later, got lots of water channels. <laughs> so that when, four billion years ago, they've also got lots of clay minerals, which are probably produced in water. So four billion years ago is when Mars was probably quite habitable, as we'll talk about later, but it was also clearly a time when it was bombarded like crazy. But what about the Northern Hemisphere? The Northern Hemisphere looks dramatically different. So the Northern Hemisphere seems to be younger. Also, you can see the, what's called the Tharsis bulge here, yep. the big volcanoes, Olympus Mons, and there are fewer meteorites around here. So these are a bit younger. Probably okay. not much younger. They're probably only like three to three and a half billion years old or so. But younger than that four or so billion years it is further south. That's right. So the meteorites are giving us a chance to date these things. And that's now been tested by the one probe, which <laughs> is in one of the highland craters <laughs> and indeed right. found an age of about four billion years. So one data point that seems to confirm our guess to Problem the solved. craters. Yes. Um, and then you get, uh, when we go further out of the solar system, and this is... Ganymede and it's got lots of craters as so that's probably another old surface yep. so you know, four billion years or so assuming the meteorites around Jupiter are the same as those in it, which actually is probably not a good assumption um, but there are moons out there which like Io here yes. which have virtually no craters on yeah, them. I mean it looks it's, not it's very different compared to what we just saw with Ganymede or, or even Mercury or, or even Venus to be honest yes um, and then this is Enceladus or the moon of Saturn and yep. Very few craters here at all. In fact, these funny cracks, cracks all yeah, over the yeah. surface. So it looks like um, there are some old surfaces, like the highlands of the moon. Right. Um, there are some slightly less old surfaces, like the seas of the moon, yep. and like parts of Mars. But there's also, there's also some regions like Venus, yeah. like the Earth, like Io, like Enceladus, which are really missing the craters. Something is causing the surface to be cleaned out. Like, erasing the surface so you only see the very re recent meteorites. So are we going to, so what could this possibly be? Well let's talk about that in the next video. Great.